foundation of human understanding teaches an observation exercise, often called meditation, which permits you to become objective toward your problems and allows your heartaches, bad habits, fears and anxieties to be completely eliminated from your life without effort on your part. Until you have begun to practice this exercise, much of what you see and hear on the following program may be shocking and upsetting to you. But if you will listen calmly and with an open mind, you may discover the key to the peace of mind and joy for which you've been searching all of your life. And now from the foundation of human understanding, here is Roy Master. think that emotions is um, good and it isn't. I, I ask you every time, watch your emotions until they go away. And they won't go away if you think your emotions can cure your problem. Because lots of people, when they get very angry, uh, they feel very powerful, even if they're little weenies. Uh, somehow the idea of being angry is godlike. Not that it is godlike, but you know what I mean. They see, they feel a strength that is powerful. I'm angry, mm. see. And it seems like a way of protecting yourself. If it is, it, but, but, and so the beast inside always gives you the, those silly ideas, mm -hmm. uh, sort of hypnotically. Mm. The, whole, the whole purpose of your life is awareness. And we're sitting in, in a tall timber ranch. You look around you, if you be aware, Hold on to that awareness. While you're aware, you can see things. You can see the flowers, the trees, the bees. You can see people's motivations. You can see that you cannot see tomorrow or the next second. You can see only what you see now. So if you see a blade of grass, or something catches your eye because your conscious is not lost in your head. It, it's an appreciation of existence. And I don't think any animal can understand that. That, where do I get my awareness from? Now you say, well, dogs and cats and monkeys, they have awareness. But they don't. They don't have awareness as we do. They're just machines. We can actually take, a, it won't be long before you can actually make a, a, a human being or a human being like human, a creature like a human being, it's a robot. And it will look like it has awareness. It doesn't have awareness. See? You can actually give it feelings, I suppose. It's, it's not that hard, it's just, a, it's just an impulse. Electrical impulse. Oh, don't touch me, you know. But it doesn't mean to say it has an awareness. Awareness is human. And awareness is where God lives. He's the one that makes you aware. Aware of what? Aware of the, the universe, aware of the surroundings, your, your, your particular surroundings. And appreciate them. But appreciate them isn't saying, I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. It's just a way of saying nothing. It's just being aware is absolutely nothing. It means it's, there's nothing from you, inside you, that worries you, upsets you, makes you afraid, has anxiety. Of yourself you do nothing. And I don't know why Christians are taught that Jesus is God, because he, he, he clearly says, of myself I can do nothing, the Father within me doth it. How do they get that? How do they not hear that? No, no, because they're programmed. 
They actually don't, they, when, when they get to read that part, they don't see it. But I'm a Jewish boy, so I don't, I'm not caught up in the church, even though Jesus is my s savior. Okay, so I didn't have to, I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm a Christian, but, but I, if I love this man, I, I recognize this man from, from the scriptures, I can see that he saw what, that nobody else could see, see? But then I begin to see what nobody else sees anyway, because when Jesus says, be the therefore perfect, immediately those teachers and, and rabbis, or so rabbis not so much because they don't believe in, the, in Christianity, but immediately uh, they say, oh no, it doesn't mean that. Be you therefore perfect. Nobody can be perfect. Only God can be perfect. See? And, uh, or Jesus be perfect. But he never said he was perfect. He never said he was God. He made it very clear. that. So therefore, what he had was an awareness. And awareness is a gift. And a, a gift that says, that blade of grass... How did that happen? I don't see any cow saying, wow, I wonder how that blade of grass grow. What is that? What is life? And look at the animals and the trees and the flowers and the bees. Huh? wonder what that is. I can sit sometimes. No, my wife is not well, so we sit and we don't go anywhere. And little TV, you know, having to watch recently a lot and I think I've been very helpful in the way the um, John, John, Donald Trump was able to get where he is <coughs> see because I spent a lot of money uh, your money to get 10 million 10 and a half million people to look at a, a small video and that made a huge sh shock of awakening. It's, it, it verified be, but what people... So there were other people that couldn't see it. They can't even notice the blade of, blade of, the blade of grass. They can't, they can't recognize it. They don't notice it. It's just grass. To me, a blade of grass is magic. Something made that. I, and so everything I look at, so I'm into science, see. Uh, I'm, I'm also into the Bible, but I don't need the Bible. I haven't read the Bible for God knows how long. But if you, if you, bring, me a, you, you bring me a statement in the Bible, a line or two, I remember it, I understand it, and I appreciate it. But I don't need to read it all the time. The Bible is inside me. I'm the, I'm the living Bible. So when I read the Bible, I said, oh yes, somebody wrote that. That makes sense. See? One thing I wanted to say. But I don't learn it. Is the meditation prayer? Meditation is, well, you could call it that. But, but how about a, a prayer that is forever? In other words, it isn't language. Awareness isn't language. It allows for language, uh, the language of God, which is intuition. And so if you're, if you're, if you're born in, in, in Germany or Israel, see, then the language of intuition turns, is translated into the, the words. In other words, there's so many languages that's right. But, but because we're human, we just have to wait making noises that mean something, which is quite remarkable. I mean, we have a vocabulary of about 20,000 words. And, uh, uh, you know, and my vocabulary is getting dis disappearing. But as it's disappearing, all the all Costco disappears. That's not something to wonder about, you see. <laughs> <laughs> even though it's important. I'm, uh, I'm only interested in what he wants me to see. I see everything, and, I, and, and without seeing everything, a, a braid of grass, 
a grasshopper, whatever it is. Whatever that is, I know that something made it and he made it for me and I know that um, what uh, is similar to, to what God does is an artist who likes to paint um, pictures. And he does, he paints not for himself, he paints for other than himself, correct? And therefore they, we both ha are happy. See, we both appreciate. But we don't want to put the, the, um, the, 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 the painter or the artist on a pedestal because that will kill him. You can't take credit for what the gift that God gives you. I have lots of gifts, and yet I, 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 people wonder about, well, how do you know so much? The truth is I don't know anything. I never went to school. Well, I went to school, didn't learn much. You say, tell me that, tell me that, tell me that. <laughs> You know, I don't remember getting, learning much in school. I don't like to be told what to think. See, I don't want to remember, memorize anything. And as I get older, my vocabulary sh shrinks. Even my scientific, my science shrinks. But strangely enough, I get to see more because I get rid of all the unnecessary words, the fancy words. If you watch the TV and you see how, what a great vocab vocabulary they have, I can understand every word they say, but I haven't got a vocabulary like that. I don't know, it's, it gets in the way. I have, an, I, I, have a, I have a way of just being which speaks. It has a way of conveying. If I, if, so if you meet me, pardon me, if you meet me and you meet me for the first time and you look at me and I look at you, there's language between us. Because it's, it's, uh, it's, it radiates. And so does the mark of the beast. It radiates. And you've got to be very careful. So when the mark of the beast in your language, we understand that it's in a person. It's not in the trees or the flowers or the bees. It's in the person. And you see the mark of that beast in that person. Yeah. And, then, and it wants you to, uh, to respond to it because you can't worship two masters if you respond to it. You have now anxiety because you've been, t you've been disconnected from your true self and connected to your untrue self. And it becomes a self and you can't see what you've lost. All you have is anxiety. And then you have all the people that want to fix you. All, you know, as, uh, the more educated you are, the more stupid you are as far as God is concerned. <laughs> so my vocabulary is less. And, but my awareness is, I only need the words to bring you. Look, I haven't used any fancy words with you. See, I've just used simple, basic English, and yet I can say anything I want with it. But if you ask me, you know, something, well, I'll find a way of saying it, but much more. There's lots of fancy words that, you know, most of us could, if you look at the, the TV and the language, you can understand them, but you, you, you don't want to be so, I don't know, so erudite. <laughs> See, this is another word I would like, wish to forget. <laughs> See, it, it seems to be so clever. They seem to be know so much. They seem to babble all day long. They seem to answer question, ask questions and get, get uh, somebody to answer a question. But what, what enamors most people is the language of how they express themselves so quickly but they're not really saying a whole lot. When you talk about Trump, when you talk about, you know, Obama, you can see in a minute, this man is the man. And you see Obama from the very beginning. And the reason why we have a, a terrible, probably almost, if we had not won the election this time, we would have been gone forever. Yep. 
we had to we had to make those terrible mistakes, and by the skin of our teeth, we won our country back. And there's a certain few people that was have been doing that, and I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and support the program. I mean, I'm talking to the camera now. <laughs> Hello, camera, and all be everybody's behind the camera. Um, that means you're watching on television. Support the program, please. I need to get to the... Now that we have a different... Please, God, we have a different president. Uh, I, I may be able to work my way into the v VA and save their lives. That's what, I, that's what I do best. So you don't have PTSD. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you.